Welcome to A Chump's Thoughts, where I, an exceedingly average RuneScape player, give my thoughts and opinions on anything RuneScape related. In this video, I want to talk about the very specific part about today's update. The update that included Greater Sonic Wave, as well as upgrading some of the new trap abilities, specifically Rack, Piercing Shot, Punish, and Slice. If you'd like to get my thoughts on Greater Sonic Wave, I had done a video on that when it was announced, and a link will be provided in the description below, so be sure to check that out as well. Let's start with the first ability, Rack. Rack is now a 40 to 140% ability damage basic, increasing by 30% if the target is bound or stunned. With Concentrated Blast and Sonic Wave sharing a cooldown, this will now be my priority 4 tick basic ability when both of my bleeds are on cooldown during a solo encounter or my highest priority 4 tick ability if in a group encounter. I also will probably start using this after Greater Concentrated Blast as well if the bleeds are up to be able to be used with a 4 tick and no stronger basics are available. Prior to this change, I would rarely use Rack as the only instance I could see it being useful is if everything else was on cooldown or your target was stunned or stunnable. I could possibly see myself reorganizing my bars to make it making an open slot to also slot an ice auto to take advantage of ice rack, but that would require a massive change in my keybinds and just something I'm not 100% comfortable with. Now I will say, although this is a huge buff for rack, overall I think this is actually a little bit of a nerf to magic, although it's very, very slightly nerfed. Realistically, the difference is minuscule as the Sonic of Wave has an average ability damage of 94% and Rack currently does a 90% average ability damage. And that's only in to, uh, taking into consideration the base Rack. Rack does have a couple of modifiers with Ice Rack for stun targets and, of course, using Rack and Ruin with the Exsanguinate spell. I am, however, a little bit worried about our Blood Rune piles as right now, obviously, the FSOA is still doing the auto attacks, so we're blowing through our runes with that, and we're going to be blowing through our Blood Runes even more since we can't hold Rack and Ruin since this is now going to be our most common staff ability. I will admit, however, my ape brain does love the huge numbers we always get with Rack and Ruin, and I actually used it all the time on my care pack. Uh, FSOA grind and it's always been my favorite basic to use because it feels like it always crits and always hits huge to huge. Overall I really like the change through the ability and I'm super excited to play with it. Next up we have Piercing Shot. Piercing Shot has been changed to an ability that hits twice. Each hit deals between 35 and 55% ability damage making it like Rack a 90% average ability damage basic. If the target is bound or stunned the damage is increased by 30%. Like Rack, it retains its 3 second cooldown, meaning we can still use this every other ability, though I don't think this is something that we would or should be doing. However, I do see this being used way more often. Now, I'm not by no means a ranger, but I do know range does very well with lots of small multi-hitting abilities, which this obviously is. The way I see this is like a baby greater ricochet or a weaker snapshot. The two main cases I see this being used is one for adrenaline gain with Hydrix Bolts, or being used with the to build stacks with big arrows. I can see this being heavily used with the big arrow poison build method as it should add two stacks of big arrows and will give a whole lot of chances to proc poison since you're getting two soul split heals two van and two vamp heals meaning you get your reaver ends up hitting a total of four times giving you a ton of chances to proc poison. This should also be used as a great way to build bulge stacks since you're getting two hits meaning you're getting two stacks of the above the last guardian special. And also should show synergize very well with this with the ECB split soul spec. I'm super excited to be able to use this at the next zeros phase since they are very low hitting abilities. We shouldn't be hit with the um, soft cap at Nexus zeros phase. And since they're multi hitting, we'll get multiple hits off of split soul, which as I said, synergizes very, very well with it. Again, this is something I'm super excited to go play with. Next up, we have the one that I'm least excited about in slice. Slice is now a 75 to 115% ability damage basic, making it the strongest of the ones we've talked about so far, only slightly at a 95% average ability damage. It also gets boosted the most for stunned or bound targets at 1.4 times damage rather than the normal 30%, again retaining its 3 second cooldown. Now, I know even less about melee than I do with range, so I'm not going to talk too much about this since the only time I melee is when I hybrid. I know that during those rotations, I already have no issues finding good basics to use, so I don't really see myself using this ability anytime soon, but I am sure that when I get down to learning melee camping, I will be using this ability, as it's just very, very slightly stronger than using Havoc without the Loves of Passage. This is the only ability change that really doesn't excite me too much, though 
partially that's because I'm not a huge meleeer, although I do want to learn how to do it. So I haven't really spent too much time thinking about this. The last one is the one that I'm most excited for, surprisingly to myself, and that is Punish. At its base value, it's got nothing super exciting going for it, a simple 50-100% to ability damage basic. However, when the target is under 50% HP, its ability damage gets increased by a massive 150%. That damage is not inconsequential and is very, very significant. That puts Punish on nearly the same damage value as a flanking threshold, with a much higher minimum damage and a similar average damage value when the target is below 50%. This ability definitely seems like it's going to be fun to fit into Zerk rotations when your target is below 50%, and I'm super excited to be able to use it. It's going to give some good variety when you're hybriding, in my own opinion. And those are my thoughts on the buffed former Noob Trap abilities. What do you guys think about them? Are you excited to play with them? Is there something that I missed? Comment below. As always, be sure to like and subscribe. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys again real soon.